Hello. So in the last talk I did, um, you might remember we were making, um, well, I didn't actually say what I was making. I said I was doing a titration, but we made ammonium sulfate. So I did a reaction. Um, with ammonia and sulfuric acid. The topic that we're actually doing now is making fertilizers. Um, the first part of this is making fertilizers in the lab. So the reaction I did, the recap was ammonia and sulfuric acid to make ammonium sulfate. Just before we go on, uh, a little note about ammonia. Um, ammonia is NH3 ammonia. It's um, a molecule. It's got a nitrogen and three hydrogens sticking out of it. It's sort of roughly that kind of shape. Um, it's subject to weak intermolecular forces with other molecules, so it's got a very low boiling point. It's a gas at room temperature. Ammonium is an ion, NH4+. Plus. Like other ions, it bonds ionically with other uh, ions, negatively charged ions, um, and... Uh, it's the form of ammonia that's found in solution. Now this is where it gets confusing because chemists tend to talk about ammonia solution or aqueous ammonia. And in the same breath, they'll talk about ammonium hydroxide solution, NH4. OH. As far as chemists are concerned, all of those are the same thing. And the reason for that is when you dissolve ammonia in water, it forms ammonium hydroxide. But the reaction's reversible. So a solution of ammonia is a solution of ammonium hydroxide. And an ammonium hydroxide solution will have some aqueous ammonia in it. They're both the same thing because they're both mixed together in a beaker of ammonia solution. Ammonium hydroxide, dilute ammonia, aqueous ammonia. It's all the same thing. So, having said that, we'll take our ammonia solution, ammonium hydroxide, dilute ammonia, or aqueous ammonia, mix it with sulfuric acid and make ammonium sulfate. And that's what I made in the titration demo uh, earlier. So if we look at this now, you might be able to see on the inside of this uh, evaporating basin here, there are crystals beginning to form. There's still a bit of solution left. So I'm going to pour that leftover bit of hot solution there into a little glass dish. And then we're just going to leave that to cool down. But because I've evaporated off uh, uh, about three quarters of the water, the crystals should now appear. Okay. So um, we'll come back to that uh, later on or, or in the next video, whenever we have some crystals that we can look at. But let's carry on with this. One of the important things that came out in the, the titration calculation is that when we're doing the calculation, we have to take into account the two to one mole ratio that exists in that chemical equation. Two ammonia is needed to react with one sulfuric acid. So when I'm doing the calculation, I need to incorporate that into the calculation. Of course, there won't always be uh, um, uh, a, a ratio, well there will always be a ratio, but it won't always be two to one. Uh, for example, if I had nitric acid, I could make ammonium 
nitrate and um, nitric, well, the nitrate ion has a one minus charge, ammonium's got a one plus charge, so one to one ratio, so, so I don't need to worry about that in the calculation. Uh, another acid that we, we could use is phosphoric acid. Now, we haven't really thought about phosphoric acid before in the GCSE. Phosphoric acid uh, consists of three hydrogen uh, ions and uh, the, the phosphate ion, PO4. The PO4 ion, the phosphate ion, uh, has a three minus charge. So when I'm writing the formula for ammonium phosphate, hello, ammonium, not ammonia, I need three of them to cancel the three minus charge on the phosphate ion. So that would mean a three to one ratio in the equation, and therefore I'd need to use that three to one ratio in my titration calculation if that's what the GCSE folks at, at AQA decide to uh, throw in your general direction. Now, titration calculations aside, what we've made here are three very important compounds. That was ammonium phosphate. Uh, important for what? Well, they can all be used as fertilizers. So we remember at the start of this uh, the topic, or somewhere through this topic, we were talking about making ammonia. Ammonia is an important fertilizer because plants need nitrogen in order to make protein, and they can't get pro uh, they can't get protein. They can't get nitrogen from from the air, from atmospheric nitrogen, even though it makes up 78% of our atmosphere. Plants can't extract that, they can't break the, the bonds, the strong nitrogen-nitrogen bonds in the molecule. So in intensive farming we need to give plants the nitrogen that, that, that they need to in order to, in order to grow. So we use, uh, generally use ammonia compounds. The uh, ammonia compounds we use, they, they all need to be soluble so that they'll dissolve in water and then they can be taken up by the, the roots of the plant. And um, they're, all, uh, they're all salts made by neutralization. Uh, all of these using ammonia or uh, ammonia solution and an appropriate acid. So these are three fairly easy, um, uh, fairly easy fertilizers to make in the lab um, using the titration method. Let's just let's just whiz over the titration method again quickly. So remember we had a tall thing with measurements down the side with a tap on the bottom. That's called the burette. Then we measured out a small volume of uh, liquid using a pipette. Not my finest hour, that diagram. Um, and that all goes into the conical flask. There's no rule about uh, whether you put the acid in the burette or the, the ammonia solution in the burette, it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Uh, the important thing is you have an indicator in there so you can see when the neutral point is and you know that you've used up all the ammonia and uh, the sulfuric acid or nitric acid, phosphoric acid, whatever it is, so that you've got a perfectly neutral salt. So you don't want to be pouring acid on your plants. That's, that's not really going to help them, is it? Okay.